welcome back guys so in this video i'm going to show you how you can install prime os on your pc or laptop with dual boot so first head on to the prime os website and here you have three options to download either the classic standard on mainline the classic is for the low end pcs uh, 32 bit or etc cell run dual core processor or uh, similar processors uh, you should try the mainline first and if it doesn't work then you should go for standard or classic so i'm just going to download the mainline version there are two methods i'm going to go with the ioso image as it is the recommended method so this page will open up just click the download and we'll search for mirrors and then just uh, download the the primary download and we'll just start downloading so after the download is finished now we need to make a bootable usb so you should download a software like rufus or bali nature so i have rufus uh, software so i'm going to open the rufus Now you have to select the ISO image that you have downloaded. So locate it, it must be in the downloads option. Now we need to select the partition scheme. So mine is GPT and to find out yours, go to settings, uh, search option and search for partition. And this should uh, come up create and uh, change partition modify change partition open this app it will show all the storage and partition in your computer so click where I'm clicking right click and properties and in the volume you can see which partition your drive is now while we are here we need to create a partition so i have a actually shrink volume from my d drive about 200 gb and this already have our os i'm going to just delete it it can be it should be above uh, 20 or 30 gb so i'm just going to use uh, 200 gb and now after you have deleted it just create a new volume for it it will assign um, drive drive letter for the storage option so this is a new freshly made partition so after you have done uh, select everything just uh, start it will format the drive and it will take some time after it is done now we need to boot into our bios menu so uh, when it's restarting for my hp laptop i pressed escape and then f9 for boot options it will show your usb uh, right here so just select that and then the then the prime os installation it will find out the prime os from the usb and start to install it you have this window now here you have to select the partition that you have made uh, be sure to remember it by the storage details for me this one is so i'm just going to select that now you need to format it into the xt4 format press ok and this will clear all the partition it will take a time
Now it will ask you to install EFI Grub. Press yes. So you have the option to start either in Windows or the Prime OS. After everything is done, it will ask you to run the Prime OS or reboot. I'm just going to run Prime OS. Just hit the OK. And the boot animation appears. It will take some time. It is the first time booting. Here is the Prime OS logo. Click on proceed. Here you have to enter your details like name, date of birth, location and it, it won't let you skip it so you have to fill it out. After that you have to agree to this license and terms and conditions and then you can start using the Prime OS. So here it is Prime OS. The good thing about Prime OS it's presented in a Windows kind of format so it's really easy to get used to it. So every time you restart your computer this option will appear so you can either choose Windows or Prime OS. For this demo I'm going to use Prime OS. So this is how it will appear every time you restart your computer so it's easier to switch between those. It does take a little bit of time but here it is now I've installed a screen recorder and recording it from there and this is a really this is a lock screen I think it's a very good uh, and better alternative to all the other Android OSs and uh, I'm going to do a uh, some play some tries to play some games and and make a video about that too as well Google Play Store Wi-Fi is working pretty fine and uh, it also the app is installing and working as well and the user interface is really good and easy to navigate while the android apps works fine like the screen recorder that i'm using the games actually do not work when i tried from play store uh, i tried a game called mask gun which was just a 150 mb game but it just won't open i tried with gl tools and stuff but it just did not work so lastly i went to this website and uh, downloaded free fire from here uh, it provides the apk and obb separately so the second link the anniversary edition let's go to the download you can download the apk or the obb and you can also just down leave the obb and download the apk as the game when you open after installing the apk it will automatically download the data from the internet. You can see it's already down downloaded and it will automatically finish it and launch the game. You can also manually download it and place it in the OBB folder but this does not take a lot of time so just use this method instead after it's done done downloading it the game will itself open up you can see the garina logo i was presently surprised after i saw it 
because all the games were just crashing so it's good to see that this one is running just log in with your account i just made a new account with this game you can see the key mapping key mapping is already uh, shown on the screen so we do not have to manually do it this is the home page in the graphic settings you can go for smooth ultra or with high frame rate as well let's try playing a match it connected fairly quickly i do not know if it ma match makes with the uh, emulator players or just with the mobile players the graphic seems to be looking fine um, the only issue i can see is while panning i have to use the mouse button but else the WASD key, spacebar and everything is working pretty fine. Only the mouse to pan around is uh, a little getting used to. The frame rate is looking fine, not that bad. Uh, my PC does, my laptop does not have a graphic card and it's a pretty old processor, the i5 6th gen. So I'm not expecting a lot and I do not intend to play a lot of games on it. but. Um, being able to play it is uh, a good thing on its own. So yeah that was it for this video and i hope you like this one and uh, subscribe for more and i will see you in the next one